this life. Everything in this life is it's trial and error. You live, you learn, you hop on the YouTube, you get you get a a big surprise of how the world is and how people are and things I thought I believed before. So I just got to go with how things change. I say don't attach feelings to certain things that you think about or people. And the reason I say don't attach feelings is because that's what I've done. I've attached my feelings. And what happens is I get hurt. I get hurt by betraying spirits. But at the same time, is it really a betraying spirit? If it's the same as it always was, I mean, technically, is it really a betrayal? It's just how you interpret it. So how I've interpreted this whole scenario on this YouTube platform world is from the beginning I just thought it was people getting on YouTube to talk about things that they don't like seeing just like myself and for the most part there are people that do that well maybe not really anymore less and less that are really actually doing that like speaking their mind telling you how they feel about whatever it is that they've learned or the mistakes they've made and put yourself out there But what, I, what I've realized is the surveillance ability on the planet, just assume that it's everywhere and anywhere, anywhere and everywhere, at any given time. It's not that like one specific person sitting there staring at you the entire time on a camera, I and mean, maybe there is but the very least it's AI it's AI remember when you push record AI is staring you in the face watching your every move if it can hearing whatever it is you're saying or doing that's talking to the principality of the air so what if, I guess I'll just live in what if land. Instead of saying like something dogmatic. Well, all right, well then, I mean, what if, what if God is only a mindset that the God that, put it like this, the God that, we've all grown up to believe because of how the when the people run the planet they have these people set up in places all over the world and they teach a specific doctrine that's like like this there might be different versions but we definitely got to teach it like this Jesus died on that cross they literally drove nails through his hand and hung him up and in the meantime, the pretend Jesus, oh, he's not, he's not, nothing happened to him. He's alive and well. He's exalted his throne. I mean, that's not even a what if. That's, that's just scripture. At one point in time, Lucifer is going to exalt his throne above the stars of God. And he's going to speak marvelous, marvelous things against the God of gods. The flip side is... The flip side... Is when you, when you start talking... About the truth that you know in your heart... About 
the one that's actually calling God and uh, well calling God the spirit non-existent but yet it's in his own like I'll say it's non-existent but take it for his own that's what Lucifer is here to do Cain comes first Cain and then Abel Eve Eve was the one tricked first right she was tricked by the serpent Satan so Satan tricked her but there's something about Eve like at this time she was tricked first Adam gets tricked next where are we at with the trickery well I feel like we're in the Adam stage the Adam trickery stage because Eve, Eve already got tricked and over a certain amount of time as the story goes well Eve repents and finds God but because she finds God that's her previous husband Adam would say you know in this in this story of uh, if, I, if I made up a Hollywood movie I would start out with my version of how I see Adam and Eve there's so many different ways of people interpreting it so my way is just going with my experience and then put in place the characters that I, that would that would look like I mean I think Derek would play the Lucifer role just because of the way that that look is whether he is or isn't it doesn't matter it's like that's the kind of look that I would that I would have and have like have like a guitar in the background and because Lucifer loves music and I just have these people play these characters out and as I see it well Eve fell first for the trick but Lucifer would be somebody separate than Satan because the trick also I would have to throw those tricks in there just just so you can I know it's not a trick it's a it's a sharpening of your mind to see how far you can how far you can think things through because I'm thinking this thing through and there's another twist coming up from what it is now but just remember the betrayal happens and but someone that you think betrayed you really has to take it to the next level and then they have to get in because you got to remember this people are great actors so if you're good at acting like you care about somebody you're really good at acting like you do care about somebody like if if you if you don't care about anybody you're really good at acting like you do the danger in not having an open mind is that you'll have a preconceived idea and you'll be stuck on it and when it doesn't come to pass because a lot of things are not going to come to pass and other things will but most things that we think will won't it just won't that's what this thing is it's a it's a decline of this Q thing I don't I mean, I'd say after like two years, I don't even know what Q was. I remember hearing one guy that Steve had, he did like Gematria and he said something about the name Q 
and he, he had my channel on the side of him at one point, but wasn't talking about me. And I'm like, why is my, what am I, Q? Or he had it up at the top. I'm like, what is Q? I never really looked into it at all. So Q is a, it started in October 2017. October, right around that time is what I heard. And it's a movement of conspiracy theories. So I happen to fall in the category of it, but there's still some things that I talked about that actually did happen, that happened on the news, that dominated the world news. Similarities, very close similarities about things that took place. But for the most part, all my predictions, obviously, they haven't come true when it comes to a second 9-11 affiliate. But how would... How else can you get locked up? And that can just be another one of my conspiracy theories that I happen to know when a second 9-11 is coming and but it and then it finally does and then if you predicted it, well how did you know and then you get arrested for it. Whether or not they can actually pin anything on you is, you know, would be literally impossible unless the principality of the air has tricks up his sleeve and you're able to make make it seem that way. But for the most part, I just ramble on about things. What I think, if you're still listening at 11 minutes, 55 seconds in, uh, anything after this that I talk about, if you still have a problem with what I'm saying, you probably shouldn't be continually listening for this amount of time. But I do know this. I've learned to watch people that I've attached feelings to and then get turned over where the things, the tables have turned and then you start hearing things and it starts getting you sick in your stomach. And that's just a natural human feeling that I have inside. Caring for people that I thought just were, I don't know, what, like what the hell are you? It always seems like there's an agenda that's behind it. But where was it the entire time? Oh, it was always there. Alright. Stupid me, right? Stupid me. I go in befriending people. For whatever reason, I mean, I don't even, just whatever, communication. The YouTube platform can go down, and that's the end of the communication on that platform. But making friends and then seeing them turn, it's not, it's not something that I've experienced in my life. Gotta be honest, not something I've experienced too much whatsoever. Because people are, like if they're friends, you, you grew up with them, you know who people are. On this platform, it's a different way. All I was trying to do was talk things out. And then I got a lot of feedback from a lot of different sources. I didn't realize that the people in charge of these events that I've been seeing are paying attention not only to my channel but to anybody's channel on the YouTube platform that's saying anything that's true how do you know if these things weren't cancelled or if it was just made it seem like everything is going to happen and then it doesn't But there is a 21 day hold up. I know, I know that somebody went up to heaven in a, in a spiritual sense and in all likelihood, a literal sense. And what's gonna happen is if anybody talks bad about, about that God because we're halfway through to halfway point, getting cut off. 
if anybody talks like if you speak the truth about who you're showing that's taking that spot if you show the truth about that you're going to be blaspheming the name of God because well the power has it's been given over unto the beast by the dragon the dragon gave his power over to the beast on January 20th 2021 there was a exchange of power premature or too late which one is it is it is it power that was given over prematurely like beforehand wasn't John the Baptist born five or six months before Christ? There's a there's always a delay. That's why the Antichrist would be in place. But when you expose what the Antichrist is or who or what the or who the face of when, when they say, is this the man, there's a face behind it. When you expose that, um, that Jesus, that's Christ Jesus. So you are the Antichrist because you are the, you're against Christ Jesus over there. You're not against Jesus Christ. But you're against the exact opposite. But is he in place right now as a double agent turned triple agent actor? Went from a you're already naturally going to be a double agent because you got to play both sides of the fence. Double agent. But whoever becomes a triple agent is somebody that was a double agent, had both sides of the fence, can play both roles, but then does one more turn to go back against his own people from the inside because the the enemy rises from within the walls of uh, is it Jericho or is it the outside of the walls my point is no matter how bad I feel uh, played rejected betrayed just by people acting no matter how bad Like that has to feel when it happens. I always understand that somebody, somebody is going to get the greatest actor's award. And I am going to hand it to him personally. Because it has to be that one person, even if it's a one person that's in charge and runs a group of people that do, does the same thing, but that one person that is able to trick me once and then trick me again and then trick me a third time like that's the if you can trick me three times straight because getting tricked the first time is like well I thought people were my friends I, uh, you're not okay and then come back around hanging out with Johnny so I've been hanging out with Johnny for the past year and some change, and um, there's a there's an ex, there's a an exchange of um, there's a different direction. So that when you have an exchange and you've been hanging out with people for a while, you tend to get to know them. You think they turn against you once by pretending to be your friend. And then you go back after some time, and then you make amends. 
And then that's like the second coming back. But then going back again the third time getting full, well that just means that your heart was never in it from the from the gate. It's not that you betrayed me. You were always feeling that way anyway. Betrayal to me is like someone has the same feelings as you and then all of a sudden they flip flop and do a 180 and now they turn against you. When when people have a mindset from the beginning and they're just acting all the way through, well, I'm the one that hopped in and attached feel, feelings to my friends that I just thought they were my friends. And then when the Bible says love your enemies, I didn't really, really agree with that at all before I hopped on YouTube. Not at all, whatsoever. Love your enemies? <laughs> nah. And then, I've only learned that by hopping on the YouTube platform, making friends, and then them turning on me. And then, after some time of healing, it's like, so what? It's just, who cares? I never see these people anyway. But it's still spirits and people outside in the world that are real at least I think and so when they turn on you and then you go back and then you befriend them again well that's the second time around but really it's still acting on the other end so it's the second time around for me at first I hop into this I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm by myself. I'm in a, a wilderness. And I'm looking for... I don't know. I mean, why would I hop into... If this was a real thing in, in the world, and I, I decided to go on YouTube, I'm, I'm, I'm going in people's neighborhoods that they don't want me there. Like, I've been realizing this. You guys don't even want me in your neighborhood. Why? Why? I, I mean, I guess you just don't want to be my friend. So when people turn on you, and then time goes by, and then you start communicating again, it's like you kind of... It, it, it almost develops a, a stronger relationship when it comes to the ability to, like, just at least disagree with someone, and then move on, and then... And it's still talking you, you would hang out in, in normal life like you'd still hang out and you'd argue about things but you don't believe the same stuff but the problem with that is you can you can really do that with real people like real friends really argue with them you you turn against each other and then time goes by and you you make amends again but the problem is when you're from the inside and you have an agenda and you're a part of an organization that was meant to come at people like me to do the exact thing that you're doing, well then that doesn't become authentic. It becomes, what happens is I start convicting you of your fakery that, that you're doing. So that fakery starts to, that conscience inside of you starts to bother you. And then you start to change from it. And I try to bring awareness to that. And then in return, with me convicting you, and and it's actually people behind the scenes that I'm not supposed to know that, that can watch me day in and day out. Well then, in exchange, when I'm showing you what you're doing, and and how that convicts you, and then you're showing me that you know what I'm doing and in every little detail imaginable and for me to think that nobody's ever watched me when I'm when I don't have a camera in my face or when I'm in the private or I'm handling my business things of that nature that other side can see so when you're taking a crap on your toilet, what, you think they can't see you? 
But that could be the now. Nah, that's just a QAnon. That's a, a C. That's where paranoia. You got to get shut off. That, the channel get shut off. So that's what that whole thing is about. Which is when you know the truth, and you're willing to speak it. Well, they're willing to talk back to you in a way that only you will be able to understand that they're talking. They meaning. The principality of the air, waves, they, those, them. The ability to surveil wherever you are, whatever alphabet soup you want to be called. It's just, it's like it's common sense that that is what, that is what it would be. Because if you created the planet and these devices and cars and gadgets and cameras and stuff, why wouldn't you be keeping an eye on your creation to see what it's doing? Ye are all gods. You have the ability to see just like God. So you'll you'll um, send in my direction things that I need to repent from. And then I send in your direction things that you need to repent from. But here's the thing. I don't have the ability to, wa to to literally watch you like you can watch me. I don't have that ability to actually see like per se with my own two eyes with a screen that I can follow you around and see what you're doing all the time and point out, you know, because I, I can't really find anything else, but I'll, I'll point out something simple like that because then there's, it's like, Nobody said anybody was perfect. And I and I'm the first one to say that if anybody thinks I'm Jesus, well, I sin and I have sin. And if you think Jesus is perfect, then you're worshiping the one that they just put in place prematurely. You're worshiping the Jesus that's perfect. The one that's 100% no lion. But the one thing I have, I do have a question about that. If you didn't really find a rock in a desert that was, it was two exact rocks cut down the middle. Like if you didn't really find the rock because you've already seen it and you had it lasered to cut it through in order for that to happen and then place the rock in a desert so you can go and grab it and pick it up so that story can be true. If you didn't really find that rock and it really wasn't like put back together, is that 100% no lying? But as, as people can see what I'm doing, even with my camera not on me in my face, and I can see what you're doing when I have no cameras at all. And I don't even have any people. There's nobody that gives me information. Like nobody's saying, hey Robin, here, this is for you. This is what I, Robin, I'm talking to you. I'm, I, I'm talking to you, Robin. Nobody's actually, I mean, well, Jacob is kind of said, but it's not the same. Even though I know exactly the meaning of it is a, at least a communication. But it's not specific enough. Because I remember when the other video that Jacob Israel was talking about, the Antichrist coming in and, and robbing you of your... And then giving a little funny, quick Google eye. Which means he knows what he's talking about. He knows who he's talking to. He knows why he's saying it. And he understands it. So again... I mean, yeah, I mean, Jacob can be explaining the robin birds and what that all means. And it's only because Joseph Biden, Robinette, is in as a president. Like, Robin is literally our president, uh, just so everybody knows. That, I mean, it is a fact. Robin is the 46th president of the United States of America. Is he not? Joseph, Robin, Donald J. Trump, 
Trump. Sometimes they call him Trump. Sometimes they call him DJ. I mean, it's so JR. You can call a JR DJ. His name's Robin, the president. Just uh, just so people can remember that I told you that Robin was going to be the next president of the United States after Trump. I said it. It's a prophecy. It came true. So anyway, Joseph Robinette is, well, let's just say he stays in there for the next three and a half years and nothing happens to him at all. He doesn't die. He stays alive. And he just puts out all types of antichrist type things. And, um, and then Robin behind the scenes, he can be attached to that same, like, oh yeah, Robin, you're the president. Well, then you're doing exactly what, what he's doing. Yeah, um, I'm not acting. I can act. I don't have a problem acting, but my main objective is you have to know what the truth is. You have to understand what the truth is. Like, what is the motive? What's your motive behind the things that you do? And it can't be deceptive. You can't literally try to lean towards an interpretation of something that you know people are going to go in that direction if you start talking about it like that. That's deceptive behavior. It's nothing I can prove. It's just I know it to be true in my heart as 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 obvious and pinpoint dead on accurate as it is that you can watch somebody uh, and surveil them all day long on your device or computer or wherever it is, laptop, iPad, phone. As definitive as that is that you can see that is just as clear as being able to see and understand people's motives that I've been paying attention to. I've been paying attention to you guys for a, a while now. And yeah, I'm still getting tricked. I've said it. I'm sure I'll still be deceived. But in the end, that last person that you think is going to deceive you, and then that last person that you think is on your side, just flip them both upside down, and you'll get the truth. Don't ever commit. Just be blessed to wait and endure. But you have to know when the end is. If we're at the halfway point, three and a half years, and, and Joe Biden's up, and behind the scenes, oh, Lucifer is taken over, raised his throne above the stars of God. If we got three and a half more years, then what I'm saying, it doesn't matter.